video. So today, finally, finally, the stores are open and my thrift stores are open and booming and well stocked. And I went ham, okay? <laughs> um, guys, to be honest with you, I'm going to tell you how much all this costs me at the end of the video because you are not going to believe it. Or maybe you will because you're probably a thrifter yourself. But if you are new to my channel, welcome, hello, my name is Shoshana. I do a lot of thrifting videos, shop with me videos, home decor, seasonal decor, DIYs and crafts on this channel, which is my main channel, Regal Designs by Shoshana. I upload Tuesdays and Thursdays at 12 noon on this channel, and then I also have a second channel, which is my cleaning channel, The Cleaning Queen. And I do a lot of cleaning motivations, organization, decluttering over there. And I upload Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays at 12 noon as well on that channel. So if you like any of my content, be sure to subscribe to both my channels. Double tap that bell so that you receive all my new notifications that, so that you won't miss any videos at all. So without further ado, let's get into this haul video. So I legit can start anywhere, but I'm going to start with the obvious, okay? <laughs> I have tons of baskets. I've just always been into baskets. I have baskets all over my home, and they have floral arrangements in there. Some of them are kind of just for display. But I wanted to get some baskets because I actually have, um, have plans for my videos. If you hear any background noise whatsoever, that's Nyla. She is in the dining room and she's eating a snack. But I just wanted to go ahead and quickly film this video for you guys. So I have tons of baskets. And these baskets, I actually got them from Salvation Army. And I got them when they were having their 50% off um, day, their 99 cent. It was like three different sales in one. So the blue tags were 50% off on that day, and then the green and white tags, I believe, were 99 cents. So I literally scored, you guys, and I am super duper excited about my baskets. <laughs> Y'all know I love, to, I love to thrift, and I get super excited about thrifting. So I got these two baskets, and fall is coming up, Christmas is coming up. I have tons of ideas for these baskets. I also have... Um, some Pinterest boards that I saved, well, some Pinterest that I saved to my Pinterest board um, with baskets, you know, like how they have the baskets on the wall. It's a little bit more boho, and that's really not my style at all, but um, I am going to incorporate it in my house somehow and keep, keep, keep with the farmhouse, modern farmhouse feel of my home. Also, I just found out my real style, you guys. My style is New England farmhouse, but in a modern way. So New England modern farmhouse. That is my style. I've been kind of wondering, like, my style is completely different. It's farmhouse, but it's traditional. I kind of, I figured it out. It's New England modern farmhouse. So that's my style. So I definitely want to go ahead and incorporate these. And I have, it's like five different baskets. And these were $1.99 and they were all 50% off. So I got these baskets for 99 cents. So five, $5 for five baskets, which you, you know you're not going to get these baskets in the stores for 99 cents. It's definitely going to be well over $10 per basket. The next item on my list is this bowl. I believe it's a soup bowl. Um, I got this from, where did I get this? I got this from the Salvation Army as well. I have a mixture of Salvation Army um, merchandise and also from a different thrift store that I went to. So I got this from the Salvation Army and this was the blue ticket and it was, this was $5.99 and I got it for, um, no this was $4.99, sorry, and I got it for $2.50, $2.50. I think I did great, and I'm so excited about it because I'm definitely going to be using it for the fall. I love buying pieces that I can use, not just in my decor to make my home beautiful, but 
use it for practical uses as well. I can cook, I can, you know, put my soups and all my foods and things like that in it. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, okay. So I got these little tea kettles, um, and this was, this was actually a pair one tea kettle and I just love, love, love it so much. Um, I am in the process of constructing my pantry right now. So a lot of these things you're going to see in my pantry because I'm going to be using them as decor, but I'm also going to be use them, using them for my tea station and just for other practical uses in my home. So I absolutely love this tea kettle. It has like this little um, basket weave for a handle and then it's all porcelain. And like I said, it was Pier 1. It's a green ticket. It was $2.99 originally, and I got it for $1.50. I don't know what the original price was for this tea kettle, but if it's Pier 1, it couldn't be cheap. So I am so elated with this little tea kettle, you guys. I think it's so cute. Okay, I'm just going to lift the basket up because it's tons and tons of stuff. I got this these soup bowls as well from um, the Salvation Army, and I got five of them for two dollars and fifty cents for all five. You guys, these are antiques. This is from. This was made in Germany. This was made in Taiwan. Sorry, and. These are like soup bowls, you know, that you can share. So I literally can see my family and I around the table during fall season and, you know, me whipping up a nice pot of pea, red pea soup or chicken soup and, you know, pumpkin soup and just putting it in these bowls. Oh my gosh, I just, I can see it now, you guys. Fall, can you tell fall? Can you tell that fall is on my mind? It's on my mind. Okay, so I got five of these. I'm going to put these here for now. And then I was on my walk the other day. I went out walking and in my neighborhood and around the block there was this flea market. Like the, the couple, they're older, they're getting ready to retire and they want to move to Florida. And they're selling. They have like three car garages of just nothing but stuff because they used to be antique shops owners or dealers so I got a bunch of stuff from them you guys so first this I actually got from a different thrift store and it's just a cookbook my daughter Michaela she absolutely loves baking so I saw this this baking cookbook um, in the thrift store and it's all about Christmas and it's all the little things that she likes to bake all the little gingerbread cookies and sugar cookies and cakes and things like that and for Christmas, you guys know, one of our traditions is baking cookies and leaving them out for Santa. So I am so excited about this cookbook because it's something that we can do together, she and I, or even as a family. Actually, she baked these before, pretzel sticks. She made those before, and it was super delicious. Um, so I'm just, I'm, I can't wait to, to sink my teeth in one of these baked goods. So... This was 99 cents that I got at the other thrift store. I also got this little butter dish from the Salvation Army. And this is a threshold brand from Target. And it was $1.99 original. And the price was half price, so it was 99 cents. So I am I'm super excited. Okay, so the, from that little yard sale I was telling you guys about, so I got this little teapot thing. I just think it's so cute, and it's it's so festive for fall and also Christmas. So I'm going to be making like a whole tea station situation, and this is going to be a part of the decor on on my tea station. So just you know stuff that's like props related. So I'm so excited about this and for the stuff that I got from the flea market around my, the corner from my house, I got tons of stuff and everything came up to $11. Y'all, I couldn't believe it. It came up to $11. So this was one of them. Um, I also found, y'all know I love copper, right? 
I have copper all over my home. Mm -hmm. I love decorating with copper. I'm definitely going to be decorating with copper for the fall and Christmas season. Um, and I found these two copper teapots. And these are real copper, you guys. Like, I can't even... This was made in... This was made in... Portugal. This was made in Portugal. It is legit real. 100% copper. Both of them. Where was this made? This was made in Holland? Yep. This was made in Holland. This was made in Portugal. And they're such great qualities as well. So I am super excited about them. I just want to clean them up and put them on my tea station and get it all dolled up and ready. This basket, oh, there goes a top for that. This basket I also got from that little flea market around my house. Um, this basket was for $2, you guys, $2. I absolutely love it. And I also, this I'm going to be using in my pantry because, you know, baskets are super pricey to even try to put anything in. So I'm going to be using this in my pantry and just using it for organizing and storage and everything. I'm going to be painting it because I wanted to go with the color scheme, but I'm going to be painting it white um, and getting it all dolled up and all organizing. I got that from around the corner as well, and it was only $2. Okay, so one of my greatest finds that I have found so far so we are getting ready to renovate both bathrooms in the house and we're going to be putting in new toilets, new vanity, new sinks, new faucet, new mirrors, I mean the whole shebang. I was legit looking for some lighting for my downstairs bathroom and I was looking at Home Depot, looking at Lowe's, looking at like my local Ace Hardware and everything and they have some beautiful, beautiful lighting. But they just were so pricey. And while I was at the Salvation Army, I found this. And it was just sitting there by itself. There was no other, other lighting around it. It was just this sitting by itself. Y'all, this is, this is a great piece of light fixture. So what I'm going to do, because obviously you know I'm doing farmhouse style, so I am going to be, I am going to take the glasses off and I'm going to be spray painting it black. I'm going to be spray painting um, the silver black and putting it up in my bathroom on the first floor. I paid $5.99 for this. This would not go for, for $5.99 in any hardware stores. This legit is probably about 70 bucks, 80 bucks. And I got it for $5.99, so I thought this was a great steal. Okay. I'm about to paint my mudroom. So, I gave you guys a tour of my mudroom when we first moved in the house. And I think I gave you one more tour around Christmas time, and that was like the last tour that you guys received from, from me with the mudroom. So, I'm getting ready to paint my mudroom and redecorate it, just kind of give it a, a new, a newer feel and make it a little bit more practical for our family. Because you know, when you move into a house, you kind of have to give it time before you can feel out a space and let the space actually speak to you and tell you what it wants to be. So the mudroom has been talking to me <laughs> and it's been telling me what it wants to be. So this is going to be hanging in my mudroom. This is a little pocketbook, it's a, it's a hand basket. And it's going to be hanging in my mudroom, and I'm going to be putting like some floral arrangements and everything like that in there. This would probably retail for about maybe 20 bucks, 30 bucks, because it's real, like it's real, you know, basket weaving. Um, I got it for $2.99 at the Salvation Army. That was a great steal, and I absolutely love that bag. Okay, so I'm going to show you some picture frames that I got from the Salvation Army. I love getting picture frames from the Salvation Army because they are strong, they are durable, they have character to them, and I love things with character. I love old stuff that I can take it and make it new. 
as you see in my home, a lot of my furniture, maybe all of my furniture except for my dining room table and my couch, is thrifted. And some stuff obviously I built. But um, I love finding like old picture frames. So I normally just take the, the pictures out of them and I clean it up and then if I need to spray paint it, I spray paint it. If not, I don't. And I take the pictures, um, like family photos, and I put them in the new frame. So that's what I'm going to be doing with this. And this I saw and I just was like, I was smitten by it because it literally goes with the color scheme of my home. All the pictures in my home is gold and white, cream, tans, beiges. So I just was so excited when I saw this one because I know exactly where it's going to go. And I got this picture frame. It was $2.99 and it, it was 50% um, off and I got it for $1.49. So I am super excited about this picture frame. I also found this picture frame <laughs> and it's a 16 by 20 um, size picture frame. This was $3.99 and I got this for $2. And I'm going to show you the frame because it's like a it's like a whitewash type of framing around the photo and I just absolutely love it. Like I said, I'm going to take this picture out, I'm going to spray paint the matte white, and then I'm going to be making this picture frame into a sign um, and putting it somewhere in my home. I'm so excited about it. I'm so excited. Can y'all tell me tell how excited I am about all my great finds? Okay, so this baby, normally you will see this on websites for 80 bucks, um, 60 bucks, Walmart actually have something very similar for $90, you guys. And I just love this so much. So I got, this was originally $3.99 and it was half off day and I got it, you guys, for $2. For this thing that normally would cost like $90, I'm just... I'm impressed. I'm impressed by the prices at the Salvation Army. I don't know if it's because we've been on lockdown, why the prices are so much greater, but I am absolutely not complaining. Okay, one more box, I promise, and then we're all done. So I found, this is a curtain. I found this at the Salvation Army, and it's, it has like lace details. Yeah. On there, I'm gonna to try to open it out so y'all can see it. It has the lace details, like the rouging, on there, and it's just one panels, like one set of panels. But I'm actually going to be cutting this up and re-sewing it together and using it for my um, table runner for the fall holiday. And I'm also going to be using some of it for like a little valance in my um in my kitchen so i just i love this it was originally 4.99 the ticket was on sale so i got it for two dollars and fifty cents okay this little wooden bowl i got it was a dollar 99 and it was for um 50 off 90 99 cents i actually have a wooden bowl that's larger than this and i'm just so happy that i found the baby this was, this was originally from Stonewall Kitchen, and I just love all the wooden details. Very cute. This is from Walmart, <laughs> and it's brass, but it's, I, this was a two for $3.99, so I got both of these. <laughs> they were half off, so I got both of these for $1.49, which you cannot beat, though it's brass, it's real brass actually. No, it's lacquered glass. But still, I'm going to clean it up. I'm going to put some florals in there, floral arrangements. And I'm going to be putting it on my fireplace for my fall decor this season. And then I got this. This one was made in India. This one was made in India, and it was $2.99. And it was, I don't think this one was for half off today. But it was $2.99 that I paid for this one.
Now y'all know I love my copper. Like I said, I have copper all over my house. And this is just like a regular copper tin. Um, they had like cashew butter crunch cookies and stuff like that in there. But I just love the details. I love how old it is. And it has like this farm <laughs> barn thing that's on the front. So I'm going to definitely be using this for some floral arrangements. I just love the way that it looks. It's super cute. So I found this picture. I went to the Salvation Army this morning. And um, this picture was the first thing that I saw. And I had to grab it up. It wasn't on sale. It was $3.99. But I actually, I love it. I love it so much. And I'm going to be using it for an all-white tablescape that I'm participating in coming up in August. Um, so I am super duper excited about this picture. Y'all know I love white everything. Like I have white all over my house. I just think it's so fresh and just so refreshing. Okay. I went to the Salvation Army last week and I saw this set of amber plate sets with four cups, right? Mm -hmm. And I, I, it was like $8.99 for the entire set. Though that is very inexpensive, I still didn't want to pay $8.99 for it. So in my mind, I was like, I really, really want to get it because I've always wanted an amber play set, but I left it. So for the entire week, all I've been thinking about is this amber play set, right? So I went back there this morning and I was like, I hope that it's still there. You guys, it was still there. Look at how beautiful this yeah. is. Oh my goodness. And it comes with the cups. How cute is that, you guys? Like you could put soup in it. My kids can eat their ice cream in it because they love ice cream. You know, you can have like a frappe. Or I can drink my tea, whatever. And it sits right on the plate, just like so. I think that is so cute. I can see that as like a fall tablescape. I just think that it is so cute. And I just love the details. Let me see if I can bring it up closer. Can y'all see that? The details on that? And it legit just sits right on the plate. So I have, I have four plates and then I have four glass cups, four glass mugs. Like I said, y'all know I love everything white. So I have the smaller, I have the smaller vase um, for this um, and candle holders. And this is milk glass. I am collecting milk glass. I love milk glasses. So I got the smaller ones to it. And I saw this and I just had to get it. It was for $2.99 and it was not on sale. But I just wanted to grab it up because you will never pay $2.99 for milk glass anyway. So I just, I love it. And I love all the pretty details that's on there. So this is going to be a part of my all white tablescape. So this is a butter dish or a gravy boat. I'm sorry, not a butter dish. <laughs> this is a gravy boat I found at the Salvation Army. It's from, it's from Stoneware. It was originally two for $4.99, the two pieces for $4.99, but the green tags were 50% off. So I got it for $2.49 for the entire set for the gravy boat. And I'm going to be putting this in my pantry as well. This is another little vase that I saw and I picked it up. It's a milk glass and I just love it. it it's for $2.99. And it was on sale today for half off. So I got it for $1.49. Y'all, I found this set of plates. And this is, this is antique, okay? It is, I gotta bring it closer. I got four of them, set of plates, heritage plate, and it's, Iron stone, it was made in England, and it's the Eng England's heritage. It's genuine hand engraving, it's decorated under glaze, the permanent colors, and it's detergent proof. This is so cute. I actually have some blue and white sets, 
that I used for my blue and white tablescape in July. Um, but I just love it. It has like the color tones that I'm looking for. It goes with my decor, but I can use it in my fall tablescape. So definitely look out for that. Um, definitely look out for that because it is, it is coming. I just think that it's so cute. And y'all know this is extremely expensive because this is authentic. And this is um, antique and it's 100% handmade. So $4.99 for all four pieces. You're not going to get that anywhere else, you guys. Okay, so the bench that I am sitting on, <laughs> I just caught this bench out of the side eye, okay? I'm going to be, like I told you, de redecorating my mudroom. Um, and I was going to make... A bench but then I found this bench and I was like oh my gosh this is going right into my mudroom and I know exactly where it's going to go so I found this bench and I I just think that it is super super duper cute can you guys see it it is so cute and it's so comfortable oh my goodness so I'm gonna be putting this in my mudroom so we can sit down and put um our shoes on and you can take the seat up I'm going to definitely be reupholstering the seat I'm gonna be giving this a nice um, coat of brush nickel finish spray paint and bringing it back to new just kind of reviving the life but y'all it is super comfortable I paid five dollars and ninety nine cents for this bench it is so cute I love the lines of it it's so dainty and I just I just absolutely love it and can I say one more time it is super super comfortable oh my goodness it is so comfortable you guys it is so comfortable okay you guys so for everything that you see here I made what three four trips for everything that you see here I went to different thrift stores and in total I paid $70 for everything in total $70 y'all this is probably one of my most successful um, thrift store shopping in a very long time and all the stuff I got all the stuff for $70 so I am so so happy about that so if you guys like the video today, make sure you go ahead and give this video a thumbs up. If you are excited about fall, by now you have already seen my Falling Into Fall series um, that I am going to kickstart on August 1st and it's two full months of fall videos. Also, you're going to be, um, I'm going to be doing some open invitation challenges and collaborations with some co-hosts. So I hope that you guys participate. It's going to be so much fun. I'm going to be doing cleaning videos, organizing videos on my cleaning channel, and then fall DIYs and crafts and decorating and renovations on my Regal Designs channel. So make sure y'all subscribe. Make sure you hit that bell twice so you don't miss anything that is happening on any of my channels. I am so excited about all of my great finds today. And I just love them, you guys. I love them so much. So if you guys love what you saw today, go ahead and give this video a thumbs up. Make sure you share the video with your friends and family, social media networks. I would greatly appreciate that. Also, don't forget to hit that red bell, subscribe. It is always free. And double tap that bell for new notifications. Leave your comment down below because you guys know I love, love, love talking with you guys. That's like the best part of doing YouTube is actually meeting and getting to know everybody and talking to everybody and meeting friends. <laughs> I've actually made some really great friends here on YouTube and I am just so excited about this awesome journey. So thank you guys so much for joining me today on this Salvation Army thrift store haul. <laughs> um, I will see you guys in the next episode. Don't forget that Jesus is Lord, that he loves you, and I love you too. See you guys next time. Bye. I bet you think that I should calm down And that I'm overthinking everything about